Making Things Happen by Releasing the Energy of Others by Madrea Burns. This particular presentation comes from Chapter 14 of The Adult Learner. It concentrates on releasing control to the learner. The instructor's main goal must be to help the learner reach achievements rather than maintain control. By doing this, the learner will increase in knowledge and creativity. It will also give them a sense of ownership. The author suggests that in order to be successful at this, consideration must be given to Andrew Goji's in-practice model, particularly the six core adult learning principles. Those are learners need to know, self-concept of the learner, prior experience of the learner, readiness to learn, orientation to learning, and motivation to learn. A look at the situational and individual differences is important as well. Initially, this started as an adventure into intellect. The idea was to see what would occur if a social system inclusive of the five arrows shown above were conceptualized as a human energy system. These um, social systems weren't actually grouped. I just did it to make more room, but um, I tried to put them together. Um, as organization, world, state and nation, school and college, agency and corporation, family and group. Once this was perceived, several questions not common of the average leader or instructor were raised. Those questions were, what is the sum total of human energy available? How much of it is being used? What happens to the unused portion? Why isn't it being used? What kind of energy is represented? How can it be used for greater goals?
This was a new journey for the author. I quote him in saying the following. Having been raised in the era of Frederick Taylor scientific management, I had perceived the, the role of leader as primarily controlling followers and subordinates. And basically, um, that was just, you do what I tell you, and um, I don't need any back talk or suggestions, or I don't want to hear your views. Um, the end result in this theory is always restrict restricted to the leader's vision and abilities. There is never room for suggestion or difference of opinion. The next few slides show table 14-1 and this basically sh compares McGregor's case of assumptions by managers and Rogers case of assumption by educators. The table looks into the characteristics of controlling and releasing leaders over the next three slides. This is a continuation of the controlling view. And this is a continuation of the table, but it shows the releasing view.
Here is a list of characteristics of the releasing leader. There are eight, however, I will not read them all. Two in particular I can appreciate are number two and number six. And the reason I say that is because number two, which is creative leaders involve clients, workers, or students in every step of the planning process. They believe people are more committed when they are part of the process. And <clears throat> even with me, um, excuse me, with my students um, in elementary, um, we just did a project that lasted approximately five weeks and uh, we were learning about communities and what is involved in um, a community, what jobs are there, what, what it takes to make a community, what's necessary to have in a community. And toward the end, I explained, them, explained to them that we would have to build our own classroom community and we needed to discuss what it is that we wanted to have in our community. And it's a little bit different uh, normally because it's, it's, it's usually done um, at a different time in the year. Um, the kids um, have more discussion about it, but I just wanted to try and experiment because they changed up the units since it was at the beginning of the year, how they would do, and they did a wonderful job. We started off with deciding what we wanted in our community, and so instead of me telling them, I told them to think about all the things that we've discussed in a community and let's build a web of what we thought we would need and they came up with numerous amounts of things and some that I didn't even think of and that I had never discussed before and once they were finished with the web I then went through and explained to them it was their responsibility to build the community and they were only allowed to use a, a lunch room milk carton in order to build their building or um, their um, project so I allowed them to choose what they would build and I told them they could use the milk carton but it could not go larger than the milk carton would open so I told them to be creative and come up with new ideas and I had such nice things like um, someone broke the box open and uh, made a park and another person um, cut the box and they made a, a community garden I mean it was just so many nice things for five-year-olds I was very shocked and surprised um, one student even made a, a, a billboard sign stating that you were entering into Cartoonville so I, I thought it was very good they had a lot of discussion especially during the planning part because we had to make a floor plan or <coughs> a, a of the community they had to do the landscaping before they could even add the buildings and all the things that they wanted to have some students made uh, bikes out of the milk carton and cars and, and it was just really good um, they were m more proud I think this time around because they were uh, more included in the process number six is another one uh, that I found <coughs> um, very interesting it says creative leaders are committed to a process of continuous change and are skillful in managing change the difference between a static and an in innovative organizations are well understood by controlling leaders I mean excuse me understood by creative leaders and um, I thought that was good because um, I'm of the frame of mind that if it's not working, then you need to do something different. Um, why continue to do the same thing and expect different results? So you have to try new things. And um, I heard a very interesting quote, quote yesterday. Um, I want to make sure I get it right. It goes something like, um, never be afraid to try something new because um, amateurs built to built the ark but professionals built the titanic and we all know how that turned out so i thought that was um a very interesting quote that would fit with just doing something different or something new This particular table shows some characteristic of a static versus innovative organization. They are grouped into several dimensions and they compare the two. Um, the dimensions are structure, atmosphere, management, philosophy, and attitudes, decision making and policy making, and communication. 
um, it continues on the next page. The chapter is concluded with the following thought. Conversions from controlling to releasing has birthed a positive result for all involved. The author uh, begins to list several instances where he has seen a marked change when the transformation was executed. Also, this type of leadership is optimal for the release of pent-up energy from those under leadership. Finally, I'd like to end this presentation with a quote from the book by Kuz and Posner, which I believe was is very fitting because it's vital for the leader to recognize that by exercising releasing characteristics, they're enabling the those underneath them to eventually become leaders instead of followers themselves. And by doing so, they can make great achievements. I believe the idea is to potentially pass the baton and you want them to be confident enough to take it and run with it. Um, the quote came from the Leadership Challenge website, which is um, cited at the bottom. And this particular section says, enable others to act. Leaders foster collaboration and build spirited teams. They actively involve others. Leaders understand that mutual respect is what sustains extraordinary efforts. They strive to create an atmosphere of trust and human dignity. They strengthen others, making each person feel capable and powerful. And here's my reference page. Um, I use the references, the Leadership Challenge and the Adult Learner. And that is the end of my presentation. Thank you.